hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that uh, that how to use redux inside your vanilla javascript application redux is a state management uh, open source javascript library this is a demo application that we will be building here if i click plus here it will increment this value if i click minus it will decrement it you can even increment it if the value is odd here and you can even increment asynchronously so this is the state management uh, demo of uh, redux so let's start building the application so just create a empty index.html file and uh, let me just give it a title here uh, just give it as redux example in html and javascript and after that you need to uh, include it cdn so cdn stands for content delivery network so just search on google redux cdn and the very first link which comes in click this link which is this is a website cdnjs.com and you need to grab the min.js link this is a script link you can see that and now after the body just include this link script source and just paste the link here so now you have successfully included the redux library and inside the markup it will be very easy uh, in the paragraph we will be giving id to it of value and we will be writing here clicked and then we will be printing how many times it it was clicked like this so here we will be printing the value so after that we will be having uh, three buttons first button will be increment we will be giving a id of increment and uh, i will be giving a label to it of plus and the second will be decrement so if you want to decrement the value like this here i will give minus and uh, the third will be if you want to increment if odd so if the value is odd you can just increment it like this and also you can just increment it asynchronously so async so also in the inside this plus here and now if i refresh the application you will see four buttons here you will see that four buttons are there and now we just need to uh, write the javascript here so after including this library just have a custom script tag in the same file like this So let me just close the script tag also. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to get the reference of the value element. So here we will be displaying our value. So we can just use document or get element by ID. The ID that we have given is value like this. So after that we need to create a state for the application with the help of Redux. So here we can just declare a variable of store. And this will store the state of our application. So here we can just use redux dot create store. So this is a function inside this library in order to create the state. And inside this, we just need to pass a reducer function. So which will be counter. We will create this function here at the top function counter. So this will take two values. First is the state, and second is the action so this is these are the standard parameters this redux library takes if you built any kind of application so first of all we need to check for the state so if type of state triple equal to is undefined if the state is undefined if you load the application for the very first time the state will be zero for that we just need to return zero here like this and after that we will compare we will use a switch tag here and then we will write here action dot type we will be using this and we will we will have some cases here four cases so the first case will be case of increment so if you want to increment the value like this so in that scenario you just need to return state state plus one so sorry state plus one like this and similarly we will have these four operations i will just copy paste this here or i can just write it myself k 
case second case will be decrement if you want to decrement the value like this so this time we will return state is equal to state minus one and the third case will be this will be increment if odd So this is the case. So inside this case, we will be also be returning again. We will be incrementing the value. So return state is equal to state plus plus one. Or we can just give it like this odd here, just to have the case smaller. And lastly, we will have a case in order to asynchronously increase the value. So this will be async like this. So this will be again we will be incrementing some value to the state like this state plus one and lastly we will be having a default state default case so just write here default in the side default case we will just be returning the value of the state like this return state so this completes our reducer function so this is a counter counter function that we have made here now we just need to render out the value so we will make a simple render function which will be rendering out the value of value so we will be targeting document dot get element by id we have stored this value inside value here at the very top you can see that we have get a reference to the value here so we can just use here value dot inner html and we can just get the state of the application by store dot get state and we can just convert it to st to string by this method to string like this and now we just need to call this function at the very first time if we load the application render and also we need to subscribe for the changes if subscribe to changes of the state so if the state changes then this function will fire so there is a subscribe function inside the state that store variable store dot subscribe and here I will pass my render function that's it so if any kind of changes take place inside our state of the application it will call this render function and it will be uh, rendering out the value inside this value dot inner html and now basically guys we just need to uh, write the document or uh, add event listener to the buttons here you can see that we have these buttons first of all we need to write if I just go to the application you will see nothing here it, you will see zero because we have written we have uh, returned zero here because if you load the application for the very first time the state will be undefined and we are returning zero here and that is the reason that you are saying zero here but now if I press but the, these buttons here you will not see anything because we are not uh, binded any click this and just to just change these uh, labels to let's suppose uh, increment if odd and the last label to like this async and now basically guys we can just target we can get the references to these buttons first of all document dot get element by id of uh, increment we will add an event listener like this when we click this button a function will execute like this so here inside this function we need to dispatch a event so inside our state variable which is store there is a dispatch function and here in this dispatch function we have this type parameter and we can just give it a value of increment the same value that we are specifying in the reducer function we are checking for these cases here if the case is increment then we are incrementing the state of the application by one like this you can see that and similarly we can copy this here and paste it for the decrement so here we just need to replace decrement sorry this needs to be small case so decrement so this needs to be decrement and now if I just show you if I click plus here this value will increase here like this the state of the application increases by one 
if i sub subtract it it will again go to zero because we are subtracting one from the current state of the application this is a beauty of uh, redux so now we just need to copy for the two remaining cases so if increment if odd like this if you click this then we just need to pass this uh, odd event like this so basically let me just show you if the value reaches a odd value so i think that so here we just need to write some logic here i have uh, this is a logic here we need to have a if condition here we need to first of all get the state uh, let me just show you the logic here for the odd number we need to have a logic so we will write a if condition here first of all we will get the state value by get state like this so if the value is divided if not if the value is not divided by zero so we will be if the remainder is let's suppose is not equal to zero like this so in that scenario we can say safely say that this is an odd number so in that scenario we will be dispatching an event like this you can see that now basically if i refresh the application you will see that whenever the value becomes odd it will increment it by one one is the odd number if i click this button it will increment and now it is even number it will not increment you can see that and now this is a third case and now the last case is very simple in order to asynchronously increase the value we need to use a another function here this needs to be not be wrapped here because this is not a odd number case so the last case is async here so i will give this id and uh, the type will be equal to async and there is a set interval function in javascript built-in function set interval or set timeout also you can use set timeout so here you just need to specify the delay i am specifying thousand millisecond which is equal to one second so so it will take a delay of one second and then execute this function now i will specify this like this so it will take one second delay and then it will execute it this is asynchronously it will do if i reload the page if i click but click this button so you will see that it will take one second to increment this value so this is a asynchronous call here you can see that so this is incrementing is this is decrementing it it is incrementing it if the value is odd here you can see that it is incrementing it if the asynchronously by taking one second so this was a very basic example on how to use the Redux open source library in vanilla JavaScript example. So thanks very much guys for watching this video.